Welcome back to Math We Know. Solve this equation of x. x to the power of x is equal to x. How should we solve it? Because here only appears x and there are three x. And this x is an exponent. The x, which on the right hand side, it can be regarded as x to the power of 1. So our first work is divided by this x on the both hand sides. That is, x to the power of x, and then divided by x, is equal to x divided by x, it is 1. But is it right? If you divide it by x on the both sides, and you have to explain that x cannot be 0. Now the question becomes, can x be equal to 0? No, it cannot. When x is equal to 0, and then what should appear? 0 raised to the power of 0 is equal to 0. It's not right. So x cannot be 0. And then you can divide it by x on both sides. It will become correct. I've explained that this x can be regarded as x to the power of 1. I have to use a formula that a to the power of b and then divided by a to the power of c is equal to a to the power of b minus c. Okay, understand? And then the left side can become x to the power of this exponent is x minus this exponent is 1. x to the power of x minus 1 is equal to 1. Okay, what should we do? More attentions should be paid to the right hand side, this one. Now, what's the form of this equation? The left hand side is something to the power of something, and the right hand side is just a 1. So this form is a to the power of b is equal to 1. In general, it's the form a to the power of b is equal to 1, this kind of equations. So this equation is one of this kind of equations. And how should we do it in general? Of course, there are many cases. For the first case, if a is equal to 1, and what about b? b can be any real number. And it is done. We have also the second case. Negative 1 to the power of any even number, and it will become 1. So, in the second case, if a is equal to negative 1. And now, what about b? b is an even number. It can be written as a form 2 times n, and n is an integer. For the third case, that is, when b is equal to 0, and what about a? If b is 0, and a cannot be 0, because when a is 0 and b is also 0, there's no meaning. You can only say that the limit of m to the power of m when m tends to 0. It is 1. But when the base and the exponent are both 0, and there's no meaning. So, there are three cases. Now we have to do it one by one. For the first case, a now is x. When x is equal to 1, and x the minus 1, it is 1 minus 1, that is 0. It is a real number. So, x is equal to 1 is one of the roots of this equation. x is equal to 1. For the second case, if a, in this case, is x, is negative 1. And then, x, the minus 1, is it an even number? I don't know. Negative 1, the minus 1, is negative 2. It can be written as 2 times 
negative 1. And negative 1 is an integer. So in this case, there is a root. x is equal to negative 1. When the exponent x minus 1 is 0, and the base x cannot be 0, now, x is equal to plus 1 on the bosom size, and you can get x is equal to 1. Okay, now x is equal to 1 is a root. But you find out that in the first case and in the third case, x is equal to 1, x is equal to 1. These two roots have the same value. So, there are only two roots of this equation. x is equal to positive or negative 1. Do you get it? And don't forget to give a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more videos, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye!